Hey guys, Dancy2, back with Shadow of the Colossus. And today, I went, I left the screen for so long, we don't even get to see our horse. <laughs> he actually left. I'll go just straight up left. Anyway, I messed around a little bit, and now I have to find my horse. Today, we're going to go, be going after the fourth Colossus, Fadira. P-H-A-E-D-R-A. -E Very strange, I don't know how to pronounce that. Some fucking hick playing Shadow of the Claws. What do you want? <laughs> anyway, the ride's not too long, and it's pretty simplistic, so I think I'm gonna keep it in, so... All the Colossus they've seen up till now are pretty cool. And... I don't even know what I'm saying here. The ride isn't too far, so I'm gonna keep it in. I'm gonna keep the next few rides in. Uh, at least to some degree. Because I know where I'm going, and... I should not get too lost. It's pretty much just a straight shot. Once you get in there though, there's not going to be a lot of light, so don't get lost, hopefully. But it's a one-way canyon, so you shouldn't. Good Kool-Aid. Or Gatorade, I guess in this case. It's so frickin' sweet, I can't tell. Hello, lizards. Goodbye, lizards. You just keep kicking that horse, buddy. Otherwise, it might slow down. We'll run into walls. If you can't tell yet, I might as well say it now. We're going to have Agro for this fight. Uh, he is completely worthless in this fight for the most part. Actually, he's actually unlike Quatraris, he's not completely worthless. If you're good with him, you can use him to launch onto the Colossus very early. And here's where we are on the map. Pretty straightforward. But if you if you're good with launching off Agro, which I'm not very good with, I don't know how to do the flip. If you do it right, you'll do a flip, and you'll get a lot of height off of him. Uh, I don't know how to do that. I think I pulled off once in this entire LP, and I don't even know if I was recording at the point. But, if you can do that, you can get onto him pretty easily. I'm saying this even though we haven't seen the Colossus yet. Uh, interesting thing, my first time through the game, I didn't have Agra for the site. I jumped off of him up there where the cutscene was and fell straight down. Somehow I lived and he wasn't in the fight. Uh, but you can bring him down here if you're not an idiot and you actually take the path down. Anyway, we got some things here. What's over here? <gasps> it's a pony! God. Damn you horses. You break my voice every time. Yes, this is the guy I could not say earlier. Uh, I will attempt not to squee. Uh, what am I squeeing for? It's it's not my favorite Colossus number four, but it's a pony, so fuck it. No, don't. Uh, do not take that the wrong way. It's an okay boss. It's definitely one of the more interesting ones. Uh, what we gotta do is we gotta bring him over here. Uh, something I should go over now is if Agro is in the fight with you, you can just press X in order to call for him. But if you lock onto the Colossus by using L1, uh, L1's kind of your lock on button, uh, you can use that to whistle instead and attract the Colossi. I think calling for Agro will attract them, but uh, whistling will is for the Colossus mostly. Uh, anyway, because we're in hard mode, he's going to have three. Uh, uh, vital points. It's got three cutie marks. We got the stab. No! And there goes my brony status out the fucking window. Yeah, I'm a closet brony. Deal with it. Yeah, it's a mildly entertaining show, so fuck it. No, once again, do not actually fuck the show if you can physically find a way to do that. Actually, if you can find a way to do that, I'd like to hear how you could do that, but don't do it nonetheless. Anyway, I moved a little bit too fast here. Uh, what the general idea is to get him 
to look at you on one of the hills and drop down inside and run to another one while he's attacking the hill. And then he'll bow, he'll uh, kneel down and you can climb on his tail, which is very strangely very short. Uh, I guess short tails were in when he was made. I don't know. And then again, I think I heard his name is um, a translation of a uh, the uh, god of war horses or something to that degree, which would make sense why his tail is so short, but I'm not sure about that. Um, as, with Agro, as for Agro, um, you can use him to launch up and get onto his uh, hind. And, well, not his hind, but you can use him to launch up and climb onto his uh, back legs. Uh, if you're good with it. You have to be very good, though, and get him in pretty much the right spot, because you have to use the hills to your advantage as well. Um, if you want to stay there and risk shitting your pants when he kneels down, uh, you can climb onto the chains hanging off the front of him. But, once again, I don't like to risk scaring the crap out of me, so I'm not going to do it. Anyway, we just have to wait for him to get curious as to what's in there. And... bingo. Then again, I guess if he had... I guess if he... Just for gameplay reasons, if he had a bigger tail, he would be able to get onto him a lot easier. Anyway, his three weak points are actually not... <laughs> I said Kimi Marsh earlier, but it's actually in a completely different spot. Uh, not really. It's more of the front where it's, uh, it's more on his shoulders than his, uh, uh, butt, but, um, you gotta hit this, uh, weak point right here in order to get him to lower his neck, because the only one that is in normal mode is on his head. However, in hard mode, there's one on each side of his shoulders as well. So we're gonna be going after those, uh, marks first, and... He does a lot to shake you off. He's, he's a pretty... He's an interesting boss, I'd say that much. Hold still and let me stab you. Uh, as for him in development, I really don't know much about him during development. Uh, there's, there's not a lot that I've seen of him, at least. In fact, I don't think there's anything I've seen at all. So, really, what you see is what you get, I think, for him. Anyway, now that we've stabbed what makes him special, and we're gonna stab it again. Yeah. Just really figuring out what to do with this guy is what's hard. Uh, he's aggressive, but he's not really threatening. Uh, that comes... That comes later. Anyway, now that we've taken out the two hard modes uh, points, so let's take out the normal one. Uh, this one's pretty easy to deal with, mainly because he's got that crown on his head, and it's not too easy to fall off. Although, uh, I get very close right here. Let's just add the weak point, get him lower his neck, and move on to his head. I can't believe I'm about to kill my pony friends! Eh, that was a little early. He was my very best friend! Die! I had to get that in somewhere. For the greater good! Wait, what do you mean this isn't the greater good? Nah, eh, screw it. Friendship and death. I think I've officially filled my my little pony quota for today, and hopefully, as our pony friend falls, we can put an end to this.
Now where's my pony? Or black tendrils. Tendrils work as well. Ow. Oh, high horse. There you are. Good night, everybody.